Hi friends, a very happy day to all. Let's make our day happy by doing the things we really like. This is Jo and today I am going to show you how to make a very beautiful, attractive, a bigger size dahlia which is very easy to make and looks realistic. To make these flowers we need floral string, floral tape and cray papers. Here I have taken two shades of the same color paper. First I have taken five sheets of light color shade paper 25 into 27 cm and one piece of the same shade paper of size 17 into 27 cm and two pieces of a dark shade color paper 10 into 27 cm. First let's take the two pieces of the darker shade paper and cut out the petals. This will be the innermost whirl of the flower. Now I am taking the lighter shade paper of size 17 and 27 cm and I am cutting out the petals. Similarly, we will have to cut out the petals in all the other papers. Here the shape of the petal is very important. This gives the structure to the flower. Cut it deep down to 3 fourths of the size of the paper. Here I am using a dark pink oil pastels to shade the petals. Once you shade it, you have to stretch the petals inward. This you will have to do for all the petals. Now for the last two pieces of paper, you have to turn the paper and then stretch it inwards like how I am showing you. This will be the outermost wall of the flower. So the flower will be looking like as though it is bloomed out. Now let's start placing the petals one over the other. First we are keeping the two petals which is stretched outward. Okay, this is the outermost whorl of the flower. Then the other three petals which is stretched inward. And lastly the smaller size paper which is stretched inward. Then we are going to place the two petals with a darker shade. This will be the innermost whorl of the flap.
once we have placed all the papers together now we are going to fold it like how we make a fan Now tie a string correctly in the center of it. Pull the ends together and make it look like a flower. Now slowly pull out each petal of the flower. Be very careful, the paper might tear. See, I have pulled out the innermost whorl of the flower, the darker shade. Twist the ends so that it gives a natural look. Wow, a beautiful dahlia is blooming in our hands. To fill in the center, I have cut out this piece of paper and I have rolled it and stuck it in the center. Now I am attaching a floral string for the stalk of the flower. To make the stalk a bit thicker, I am winding tissue paper over it. Now to make the sepal of the flower, I am taking 10 to 10 cm green color grey paper and I will show you how to shape it.
once we have stuck the sepals now let's take the floral tape and wind the stalk of the flower now let's make the leaves for this we need 15 into 10 cm paper fold the paper across the two ends like how i'm showing you then cut it out now turn the paper see you get the shape of the leaf now apply glue and stick the floral string on it See our leaf is ready. Now let's give shape to it. Now our leaves are ready. I'm going to make a thick branch to attach the flat to it. They have taken three floral string and I have tied it together and even wrapped with the tissue paper to make it thick. Now we have our flower leaves and even I made a bud. Let's start assembling it. Our dahlia is ready. Arrange these flowers to the decor of your choice. Put them in flower vases or some pots. Keep it as a center decoration. Even you can decorate it for your birthday or any celebration. Please do try it. It's very easy and simple. I am sure your heart will skip a beat whenever you see your own creation. Plus brings us happiness. Enjoy.
फ्लावर मेकिंग थैंक यू